July 7th, 2024. How's it going, guys? Well, I got another video for you, and it's a doozy. So what have I been doing today? Well, it's taking about half the day here on Sunday. Went down fairly early this morning. Get some uh, breakfast burritos and a couple of sausage McMuffins and McDonald's. Now, there's a McDonald's down here off Costco at 18910 East US 40 Highway here in Independence. And we go there every weekend. A lot of times we get uh, so many burritos during the week because what I do, I usually take them, heat them up in the microwave. And I usually go to Ollie's, get like English muffins and put a half English muffin with that burrito. But today, when we went down there, we got our stuff. Went up over to Costco, got some gas, and we drove back to the house. And when we got back to the house, I opened, actually, the sausage McMuffin. And I'm going to show you what. Somebody had taken some bites out of it. And we're going to show that. Okay, guys. Now, this is the way we got it. We got 10 burritos, two sausage McMuffins, and... Uh, I open it up, and that's it. Now, what do you guys think about that? Would you eat out of that? I sure wouldn't. So, I thought, well, to be courteous, I'll go back to McDonald's. I wanted to see, talk to the manager to see if they could find out, you know, maybe who did this or whatever. And the manager was really kind of rude because she said, that didn't happen here. And that's why she said it. I said, that's okay. I said, I'm going to go to the Independence Police Department. I'm going to go to the Health Department. And uh, I just want to let you know. So, go out to Independence Police Department. Okay. And it, go out there, and we sat for about, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. But I got to talk to a police officer. And uh, basically, they say, well, they really don't have the budget to check anything like DNA or anything on this because uh, they just don't have the money to do that like that. So it's best to go back to the health department, go to Jackson County, he said, where I'm going to go to Mar and then contact McDonald's because it seems like, you know, when weird stuff always happens like this, it's always on Sunday or the places are closed. McDonald's, I tried to call there and... Didn't get nothing. It's I guess it's closed on Sunday. You'd think as big as it is, they'd have somebody there manning the phones. But, like I say, it just amazes me about stuff like this. So, I would put this out as an alert. Don't I wouldn't be going to this McDonald's. But also, when I was talking to the officer, he said, well, he said, the officer told me, he said, well, they don't have any cameras on their employees at this McDonald's, except they have one, I guess, at the back door or whatever. Now, what I found really interesting, he offered that information up, but the thing of it was, I thought, well, how would you know where all the cameras were at this McDonald's if they haven't had problems before then? So maybe they've had problems there with other things or people stealing things, but he knew where the cameras were at, which I thought was weird because how would you know where all the cameras were at? That was the Independence Place I was talking to. So then he said, he said they, they were going to do DNA. He said, you know, then it becomes a deal. Well, you could have took a bite out of it. They could have took a... Well, you know, the thing of this is we go every week and we buy these things. And to waste time and effort and do all this stupid stuff like this would be insane for one thing. But like I said, well, I told the officer, he said, well, if I took a bite out of it, then my saliva would be on it. Now, wouldn't it? And it would show that it was mine. So, somebody took some bites out of this, and this is what to expect down here by McDonald's here in Independence on 40 Highway down here. Now, they've had new employees they've hired in. they got some other people there now. But, you know, it wouldn't be that hard. I mean, they're pretty much understaffed there anyway. They didn't have very many people there in this time frame. They could only, they'd only probably only, what, seven, eight people at the max, maybe? Maybe not even that. Today, it looked like there was maybe five there. So I don't know. So I guess we'll see where this goes here in Kansas City, Independence, Missouri. I'm going to take this to the health department tomorrow. We'll see where this goes from there. 
Only time that I ever got a hold of the health department on one other issue was when there was a CC's Pizza up here on Nolan Road. And it was close uh, over there by where Pizza Street was. And there was a person actually, uh, they were spraying the chemicals on the table, but they were spraying some into the food. And <laughs> yeah, that was way far back. This is way far back. So I'm just thinking, but you know, I think where was that other thing that took place? I think it was uh, here in Kansas City, the Hereford House. Somebody was peeing in the food. So it's a heads up, guys. You know, I put information out there. I put information out to people dealing drugs. What's going on here in Kansas City? What's going on in Independence? I make no money off any of this whatsoever. I do it to keep people safe and make sure, you know, something bad don't happen to a lot of people out there. So hold on, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Oh, and one other thing the officer said to contact McDonald's. Well, yeah, I plan on contacting McDonald's, you know. Have you ever contacted places when, you you know, there's stuff that goes wrong and then you get, you know, pretty much uh, shit canned and you never hear nothing else? So I don't know about that either, but I definitely uh, know that usually a health department will check up on that stuff. And uh, the one over here in Independence, they did that at CC's. They, uh, just like I say. But uh, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Would you eat that? And it's like, I would eat any of that other food there. I guess what we could do is, after all that, I'm going to keep it in the refrigerator. So I guess we'll find out what the health department does here at Jackson County tomorrow. But I was thinking, well, if somebody did put some, I guess I could give all those burritos to the homeless. Hey, give them something to eat, huh? Well, I guess we'll find out where this goes here. But anyway, guys, yeah, I got, I want to show this too. See, we had... Two sausage McMuffins, and we had, uh, what was the other deal here? We had 10 of the burritos or whatever. Insane, guys. Anyway, keep your eyes open here in Kansas City and Independence, Missouri. I have over almost 4,500 viewers all around the world now. want to thank my uh, subscribers there. And, uh... Guys, keep your eyes open and stay safe out there.